Good muscular dogs. I know, dogs. right? There I'm going to tell you that. It's just the best compliment. I'm glad you don't have dogs. That just <laughs> I know. I would never expect that of you either. Either like this, muscular, yeah. or just something like a yeah. beast. Oh, my God. Because in cold plunging, it's your thyroid mm -hmm. uh, that controls temperature. So mm -hmm. it's kind of interesting. You wouldn't know this, but because it's a thermostat, mm -hmm. not just does it help you recover from the cold, but then it actually helps you endure heat because your thermostat's working more functionally, whether it be for warming you up or cooling you down. So it's a really, it's a cool mechanism. There's a lot of, I mean, mental health, if you have any issues with anxiety or depression, forget it. It'll, you get in a cold plunge, it's gonna start changing that. Obviously, lifestyle eating, all that other good stuff too. But cold plunge, I would say I've been in healthcare 30 plus years. I don't know any, anything of any treatment that you can do for three minutes and affect your body at so many levels. Yeah, the return on investment is unmatched. Yeah. You know, you invest <clears throat> three minutes of your day and it's like all these crazy benefits. Yeah. When you, when you did yours, have you ever had an experience where your body felt hot, like it was just getting... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've got it and I'm like, when I actually feel like I'm getting warm, I'm like, I think I'm melting this. <laughs> you know? Yesterday, it felt like it was getting hot, hot, and hot, and hot. Yeah. And then there's sometimes you get in, you're not with it, like busy day. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Course, yeah. and it's kind of like Mine when you do off. squats. You know, yeah. if you get into squats and you're fucking around and you don't really take it serious, like I always say, you got to respect the squat. Oh, yeah. You can't halfway, oh, cool, let's just pick it up and go. Same with a cold plunge. If you disrespect it and you don't get mentally ready and take yeah. some breaths yeah. and you just get in, you're going to find out really quick how much you're feeling. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. like if you're too busy to realize how stressed out you actually are mm -hmm. and then you get in there and you're like, oh, wow, that's what's actually there. Yeah. It's like a really good. That, it's a good center. Yeah. That's a good point. If you're scared, yeah. you're like, oh, wait, wait. <sighs> okay, okay. Have you ever gone anywhere though in there? Because like I keep hearing like, you know, I like some people say they have out of body experiences. And yeah. Like that, and they say that it's always good to get in the cup of water and do it. I think everyone has whatever they're connected to or whatever your yeah. thing is. Like for me, I'm a believer in Jesus. So I mean, oh, when, yeah, I, when I connect, I'm like, I'm like thinking on him and going, give me direction for my day. I'm strong and healthy, vibrant. Let's tear it up. Yes. So, yeah. you know, I try not to walk around to other places because there are other places I could walk around to, but <laughs> I just go to him. Yeah. It's always like I said, be careful what you're open to because sometimes yeah. you can open up to a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Without knowing. Like there's no point to me, there's no point to Of course there is a point, but they're not going to reach your goal. If I'm eating McDonald's, I'm eating fucking so Wendy's. you think it's better to eat McDonald's and not work out? Because if they work out or not, it doesn't matter. But if you're trying to, I've told you, if you're trying to reach a goal, you're trying to get yeah. talent. Yeah, but you're saying, is there but a yeah, point But yeah, but you're going out. way <laughs> too This is literally the, the problem with male and female relationships. <laughs> you guys are saying the same thing, but you're so hyper-focusing on the details of what no, was No, you're said. formulating the question wrong. That's what that <laughs> okay, let me formulate it again. This is behind the scenes of a TikTok. <laughs> Just a little bit of arguing and a lot of model face. You have one job. Okay. You have one job. Look pretty. Look straight ahead. Ready? Ready? And go. I don't know if this is strange or not, but I think that a lot of human beings don't understand how incredibly gifted they are. I think they're only looking at the physical aspect of everything and the physical aspect of life. Since all three of us, right, this is what I'm thinking. We've gone through this shit and we figured out a way to tap in to something. And I think that our goal and our jobs is to show them how to tap into the same fucking energy and i think that they just need to be tapped in but they need to allow themselves to be tapped in like you're nine and a half he's like what's missing i was like do you know what i don't think anybody in the entire world is ever gonna be a 10 mm -hmm. and that in nothing in our personality not visually nothing because if you're a 10 like what's left yeah. You can't. You yeah. have to have something to work on. And it's the same like with myself. Like I'm very happy with what I look like. Mm -hmm. But I always want 
to have something to change. Not because I'm disappointed in it, not because I don't like it, but I always want something to improve. While at Alpha Land, I was able to get some pad work in with Achilles, and I was so stoked to be able to learn from him. He has been doing this his entire life, basically. He's very well skilled and versed, so he was able to teach me a lot that I actually was able to implement the next time that I went to my training during sparring. I was able to use some of the techniques that he had shown me, so it was really cool. I'm always learning, always growing, and I'm so thankful to have incredible friends that are willing to share their expertise and their skill set with me. So. Thanks, Achilles, and uh, you better be ready because I've been practicing. <laughs> Before Max and Achilles flew out, my good friend Justin Lovato actually came in town and I was so happy that their trips overlapped because he was able to take us through a breathwork and a meditation session. This was incredibly powerful for me, oh my goodness, I just, I had such an amazing experience where at the deepest part and the stillest part of my heart and my mind and my body was just so much love and peace and so much that had been healed and it was really really powerful for me if you guys have never tried breath work i really recommend that you give it a try the very first time that i did it i did a one-on-one -on -one session with justin lovato and i then at that moment realized how much peace and love actually exists within us all the time and it made me emotional actually because i realized how many people search their entire lives for this thing that resides within them Oftentimes we just are never given the experience or the awareness of where it is and it's inside each and every one of us. So it's a really incredible tool and practice and I think getting the mind still and present, it can really open you up to just a, a whole new way of thinking and living and loving and being. So if you guys have never tried it out, Justin does have uh, programs that you can purchase online. I purchased the 60 minute one, the full one, and it's amazing, but he actually now also has, I believe, some 15 and 30 minute ones as well. So that would be a great place to start if you can't go to a one-on-one -on -one session or don't have someone in your area that you have a personal connection to or a referral for. So definitely check that out and let me know how it goes for you guys. I'll also place some podcasts that I did with Justin down below. So if you guys want to get to know him a little bit better, check him out. He does a lot of online stuff as well as in person if you're in Austin, Texas. So just wanted to share him because he's one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> he truly is just, oh, he's such a loving expression of himself, of what he truly is at his core that really comes out in such a powerful way where you know you're safe, you know it's okay to be vulnerable, you're able to express without any judgment. He really is just doing exactly what I feel he was created to do, which is be that safe holder of safe space for people. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next vlog. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to say hello. 
I work really hard on these videos. <laughs> I was up till pretty late last night editing and then again in the morning. So do me a favor, write some feedback because it really helps to kind of just keep the momentum going. It helps me to hear what you guys enjoy, don't enjoy. So please leave feedback if you'd like to and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.